This is a video about I don't actually know how I would even title this video, but <clears throat> this is what do you want to say, a psychological evaluation of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and his team. It definitely is evaluation, uh, and it's definitely a thorough investigation evaluation of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, his state of mind, Nurse Yanko, criminals employed at Novomesto police station, and even my family members, such as my mom, my father, my sister. I'm going to try to be as much as possible when it comes to my family reserved. And the way I am going to start this evaluation, I probably would title one is Evaluation of the Psychopaths or Evaluation of the Team consisted of the psychopath. I think involved in my case, something like this, or maybe I'll find a different title, but you get the taste what this video will be about. It's a thorough investigation, evaluation. Huh? It does not take, in this case, evaluation. It does take thorough investigation to expose in temo primerno in translated from Slovenian language considerable to level of crime these people implemented provide sufficient amount of proofs to properly trial these people. This here is the watch. A normal Mesto police investigators had a lot of trouble with this watch. This is a Casio watch, and I went ahead and I collected my last dimes, pennies, whatever I had left, Sometimes in the 90 distance, way back in time, <clears throat> I don't know, but it might have been whew, It goes really really back in time. Maybe it was 1980 1987-1988 I would say 1987 that this is the watch 1987-1988 that I have purchased from a local watch salesman here in the city of the Novo Mist. I go with the 1988 and it could have been earlier it could have been as far as 1986 I don't know. This is a very old watch. That's the model of this watch is Casio. Uh, and um, then it's like 358AQ. Don't know if you're going to see that, but it's 358A, like Alpha, and then it's Q, like Quebec, let's say. Probably you're not going to see this stuff, but okay, this is just a watch with a double time. Analog and digital. Uh, I liked it so much that it originally came with this belt. 
like this uh, that I collected my last dimes, my last pennies, and might have even borrowed something from my mother's wallet. And I went and I purchased myself this watch at the local watch seller here in the city of the Novo Mesto. This is what I played with recently with this belt, because I like this kind of belt. But the belt is all used by the police investigator, a criminal employed at the Novo Mesto police station who met me, as I stated repeatedly, when I went on to request assistance in respect to medical files from my father held by Novo Mesto General Hospital. You can see this is all scratched, all fucked up. That's how it came. I already video recorded this stuff and posted online as I opened the package. Uh, he wore this belt. No, he worn out this belt completely and have sadistically referred to me as during MK Ultra, he, recurred, he rehearsed many, many, many occasions demonstrating me how he destroyed belt. And it's basically what you're going to get. That's all you're gonna ever get. Uh, obviously, have stolen my watch, gave me all the worn-out watch garbage, uh, which for which he suggested was even from a Thai king, a Thai royal, uh, Maha Vajarara Linga Korn. Um, I did this stuff already. I never wore this watch. I never wore this belt. And I decided I'm not going to wear one. Why am I demonstrating you this watch? Because it goes so nicely back in time. It goes really, really back in time. And um, in 1988, when I purchased this watch, I think it was 1988, <clears throat> It was a, such a beautiful watch. I love this watch. And uh, I lost the taste for this watch within just probably two or three days. Within like two or three days, I couldn't see the fucking watch anymore. Uh, it sat right there somewhere in the corner. I was angry, disappointed. Scratches appeared on the watch out of nowhere. The thing is that I didn't have to wear the watch. There would be more and more scratches on the watch. This was not the first. This was not the last watch. Slovenian police destroyed. Yet what was even worse Torture went on, unlimited, in independent Slovenia. This watch survived all the way to independent Slovenia. That's pretty much when I lost nerves. I can see myself absolutely anymore in absolutely any way in what I always dream about, independent Slovenia. And I've decided that either I am going to fucking throw this watch into the trash bin and pursue my life to the fucking unknown or I will continue to see myself in shitty even today and I'm 52 these glasses are okay but you were able to see what they were doing what they have done to my glasses how scratched destroyed glasses with even what became stolen original lens original glasses which i got were eventually stolen from me it was like this also that we paid 250 euros for glasses for uh, extra thin glasses here in novo Mesto. but this goes way back in time and glasses were stolen the third day after i received them and replaced by a local individual who was fixing glasses at the Kulandia with a totally different dioptry from the near. As for the far sided, it kept the original dioptry. 
uh, you have no fucking idea what Slovenian police, how far they went to make the picture to me about this world, literally the picture that you look through your eyes to look like a shit. Miroslav Berger here, the neighbor, Miroslav Berger stated me, the MK Ultra is like you spending your life walking in a boots that are loaded with a shit. And that's what your life is going to be like. That's what he stated me and repeated himself with that. Very proud about with his cameras such as psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and the people I have spoke about here in Slovenia. That's what they were doing. Uh, what happened was I have this watch with me, a memorabilia mem memory on it, because luckily I twisted the band. I was so pissed off about everything because I knew that if I'm going to stay here, I'm going to end up not even in the home for elderly people, but inside of the institution, which is right next to the home for elderly people. It's an institution for mentally retarded people. After what, if I would made it over there, they would brain kill me with a real electroshocks and God knows what, either at Voynich or in psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. They would torture me, torment me, I told you, through a Yugoslav military installations, and the picture did not change almost nothing in an independent republic state now, Slovenia, beginning the 1991. The same shit went on at my big disappointment. Um, why? This is interesting fact. Luckily that I bent this belt. I didn't like this belt, to be honest. Uh, I wanted to have something like this that would have silver and maybe a pattern of gold or something like that. Uh, but the thing is that next to everything that I explained to you, Slovenian police was using exactly this watch and this band for a promotion, for my promotion. Um, there were all kinds of people visiting here, a lot of Japanese people, people from Seiko, people from Casio, people from every, absolutely every Japanese watchmaker company. Uh, CEOs, executives, all kinds of people would come, stop by, uh, with within Illuminati Circle. Uh, it was watchmakers from Switzerland, it was watchmakers from Austria, it was watchmakers from Germany, from Denmark, uh, watchmakers from Britain, Rolex, too much. But this is not the story about the watches, but I am going to demonstrate you, witness you with what kind of people I had, was dealing with by just using these watches, because it takes me so nicely, memory-wise, into the time when, as I stated, this was not the only watch that I would get, and the next day, it would be scratches that would appear. And then the next day, there would be more scratches that would appear. And then the next day, there would be more scratches all over that would appear. It was just a trend that somehow stalked me, followed me, literally with the people, police officers, uh, and then all kinds of people from Aragoska, from from the city that were involved in it, that would literally do a ritual on destroying also my watches, anything that I would get as new. <laughs> so, no wonder 
There were two other watches that Slovenian police destroyed. Uh, one was both Vocasio watches, and both were purchased to me by my sister. Both watches were purchased to me by my sister. And it's a good question about why those watches were even purchased to me by my sister. Uh, watches were like the main thing at the time that was used to push me over the edge. I told you in the previous videos, and I'm going to repeat to you again, I'm not alive because I would be insane. Uh, excuse me. I'm not alive because... Yeah, this makes sense, but what I was going to say is something else. If I would have acted, responded, therefore, why I am alive? I am alive because I responded as mentally ill to the situations that if responding as what normal person would, and the Japanese have had a lot of problem with it, um, I would be already long, long, long dead, end up inside of the psychiatric hospital, prison, dead, simply dead, killed. When it comes to Japanese, suggesting me that at first, you know, that really why you did this, you know, why you did this and that, you know, then they learn about what the fuck went on. Um, then they started to tell me, you know, a samurai logic in my case was out of the picture. Once they started to see themselves in me, they told me that responding in a traditional way uh, would basically seal my fate. First, they did not understand what the fuck went on when Slovenian police brainwashed them on how I am mentally retarded, that I am destroying, they were demonstrating in the belt that I bent uh, my things. But once they realize about what went on, uh, they quickly change their mind. And this is not destroyed. It's banned, and it shouldn't be banned. And this is basically what Slovenian police used to rationalize, to justify a total destruction of my whatever I would purchase, whatever I would order. They claim to me they're an MK Ultra. The only thing we're going to do is it's going to be the watch. It's going to be how you destroyed your property, how you did this and this and that. I didn't want to know completely from their own perspective to portray the reality as, of course, they knew what went on and their goal was to get me killed. Here we are again in the area of psychopaths. Uh, a killer instinct, if you like, uh, and this is what I am going to be discussing about. They would not leave me the two watches. Uh, one was, both were Casio watches, and Casio watch is good. Uh, one, one watch, I eventually um, ended uh, Taken apart and would leave one in on a table. Uh, so it was necessary to maybe replace the battery. I don't know why the fuck would it be time to replace the battery anyways. Um, and the second watch was literally uh, just like the other watch. Destroyed once the screen window, whatever uh, uh, glass was scratched. 
plastic or whatever it was. And I've learned that I have learned. I didn't fucking learn anything. I was brainwashed, basically. I told you about how the police works. They do your damage, they cause your damage, and they also tell you how to repair. And in those days, I didn't know right from wrong, how, what, and this and that, and was stupid enough to put the watch apart, just like I did the other watch, I was going to change the battery. And so for this watch, once I place one apart, a police figure out, as was taught during the night when the watch was stolen from me, that it would be just the best they take the watch with them because I would throw one in a garbage can, in a trash bin anyways, uh, and that would not do me good. So this is for my sister purchasing me these watches. I don't fucking know. Uh, especially because she was involved in manipulation, such as, you know, this is like really good watch I buy you. Don't do the same like with the other watch. Uh, this is a really good watch. You know, it always was the same concept with absolutely everything, with the pants, with the shoes. You know, it was a really good stuff, really good this, get you excited, and then the only thing you see is basically everything fucked up right in front of your eyes, basically. That's why I'm not taking her side in this case. Even that watch was really nice. Watch disappeared eventually. I didn't have to worry about throwing one in a trash bin or whatever. Because watch was gone. So the police saved him by literally stealing the watch from the picture. Watch was on the table. Why the fuck should watch be on a table and wait to be repaired, right? It's better to just snack one. Steal one. And the problem is solved. Even the Slovenian politician Luis Peterle knew about that watch. How and what and why it disappeared from my table. Slovenian government knew absolutely everything about what they were doing through this MK Ultra. They, a croat told me that I have to talk about the guest lighting and stuff like that. They mentioned guest lighting. This is no fucking gaslighting. I don't want to talk about gaslighting. Gaslighting is stupid. This is not gaslighting. I'm from the circumstances which, in which just mentioning something like MK Ultra would brought me to the psychiatric hospital, prison, whatever, where brain would be completely incinerated. They were turning human beings into animals. They talk about the fucking Goliath of uh, Barren Island in the Adriatic Sea where Tito would send the prisoners and stuff. Why the fuck nobody is talking about the psychiatric institutions? What went on inside of the psychiatric institutions or let's say military, even the worst military hospitals where they were turning people into like completely like zombies, like like fucking unimaginable stuff they were doing to the people in Yugoslavia. I consider, by the way, omitting the facts about the Yugoslav psychiatric system, the people, the governments, that's why I don't trust them, is ultimate betrayal, treason. You should be fucking talking about how people were killed in Yugoslavia inside of the psychiatric institutions. Yet you do not. You choose not to. It was probably the, maybe worse than in a Soviet Union. Angela Merkel claimed that that was worse in, in, in Eastern Germany and in the, uh, in the dead air and in the Baltic states even. I don't know. I don't know. I know only one thing, that if I would get there, I never would get out. I know this. That's a fact. So, I have this one here because they wanted to prove that I'm mentally ill. And the other two Casio watches, like they never existed. <clears throat> now you know the history of these watches. Uh, what kind of people would do this kind of stuff? Exactly, that's the kind of people. Who is psychiatrist Peter Kapsch? 
Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch came on a picture with a simply explaining me. In 1993, um, Wood knew he came in a picture earlier in my childhood already, way earlier. But way earlier, before he was even a psychiatrist, way earlier. But what matters here in this case is something else, yeah. How he came on the picture in 93, that was already in independent Slovenia, how he found his way back on the picture. Even the politicians, <laughs> um, the politician who chose him was a Milan Kuchan. It was Borut Pahor, it was Milan Kuchan, you're talking about Gregor Golovic, you're talking about the politicians that were on in uh, what can I say? I already stated, basically, this is Vladimir Putin, this is Alexander Vucic, Milosevic, Karadzic, etc., etc., etc. But what's interesting is, he was capable to find yet for the first time I remember other poll of the politicians such as Loise Peterle, that Loise Peterle, uh, Katsin, other politicians that were also, uh, they would put hand in the fire, but they started to talk about that they got this man, they chose him, they would continue to work with me to help me out. <laughs> Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch in 1993 was dreaming about very interesting issues. Not as interesting as in what became 1995, once I immigrated to the United States of America, for which he told me that his assignment changed literally into a military operation. He would not be completely detailed about what kind of military operation that would be, but he was honest enough to talk to me, to start to talk to me beginning in 95, in 96, in 97 with the normal mess of police investigators about the coming war. We still had a war here on the Balkans. In Slovenia, not so. Croatia signed the 99 peace treaty. Bosnia did, Kosovo did, what fucking war was this guy talking about? This is when he mentioned in 95, in 96, in 97, he was talking about a coming war, a big war. This coming war, a big war. which he presented to me as an operation that will go parallel to the operation of this big coming war. Obviously, he was referring to the war on Ukraine, or through the fate of Ukraine was decided definitely sometimes around 99, when uh, truly Lithuania just missed meeting with the dead for a hair shit. Because Putin was really decided between Lithuania and between the Ukraine. Putin, Russia always had Lithuania on, listed as good to go, Baltic states. Yet it's so decision fall for Ukraine. And so his job, the job that the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was to make me like, uh, look like an ultimate idiot per a Russian Duma, per a Russian government, basically to depict me, uh, to make me co look completely, make me look myself completely insane by literally stalking me around, disallowing me any kind of form of employment, anything in life, basically, proving me absolutely about 
about everything I would do in life wrong. This was the assignment psychiatrist Peter Gops obtained from Moscow, from Duma, from Vladimir Putin, etc. Lavrov, all these people. What fucking people? What fucking people? La 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 la. Yeah, this is why this video. It's called Team. It's called Team. It's called Team. Underneath, you're going to find the video about the delivery or it's going to be the next video. I don't know which which one is going to be. I don't know. I did another video. In fact, I have to see if. All right, this stuff did. I already titled this is about what mainstream media is silent about this. I did this video today. And uh, I mentioned this issue in this video. I mentioned the issues such as team. I mentioned in this video also issues such as psychopath, psychopathic, killer instinct. I actually even mentioned the lady by the name Sharon Stone, whose video, by the way, as much as I liked her, because she looked uh, quite sexy to me, I have not seen her uh, video, her movie. I don't think... Uh, I don't think I have watched her uh, video. All I know is that she was very much involved in MK Ultra and she was sexy to me. But that was the case with a lot of women, too many to count. Anyways, um, Sharon Stone... Uh, I don't know anything about her movie, but I like this title here, Killer Instinct. And this title, Killer Instinct, just as half of the Hollywood movies, if not all of them, Hollywood participated in this, so much in it, that just by reading these titles and going through this stuff, watching this stuff, I just, uh, how can I say, I could learn from these titles, I could learn basically how they see my things, as not only from their personal accounts when meeting with me, but just by going over certain issues I felt that not only because they would they would relate to me through certain roles, certain messages they would they would uh, interpretate me how to see video uh, their movies and so on. But man, this title "Killer Instinct," I love this fucking title "Killer Instinct." I don't know what her movie is about, uh, but I know what it means to have a killer instinct. I know what the psychopath is, or through I cannot agree with a Google. It says here that psychopathy is neuropsychiatric disorder marked by deficient emotional responses, lack of empathy, and poor behavior controls, commonly resulting in persistent antisocial deviance and criminal behavior. That is not true. That is only a partial truth. Today, I am going to give you, a psychiatrist and psychologist, the whole truth about... That's why maybe this should be interesting to you. There were psychiatrists, there were psychologists who have seen nothing wrong with the British royals. It was British royals who told me, there's nothing wrong for me to see them in a way I would see Stalin, basically, in that sense. There's nothing wrong, basically, by seeing yourself doing bad stuff to people when... Nobody can do anything to you, is how they interpret it to me. However, it is wrong and bad when you are being exploited, when you are being tormented, tortured, to the degree that your brain would even start to obtain, I'm not going to say figure, uh, image, design, 
but yeah, figure, shape, I should say, of a schizophrenic. Unfortunately, the Google, unfortunately, they don't provide enough, uh, probably not even inside of the, you know, uh, the books for the psychiatrists and psychologists. I'm not going to say they have a limited knowledge, because psychiatrists and psychologists know way more than what is written inside of the books. It is foremost kind of a limited to what is allowed for the public, for the people to be on a reach to the public, to people. I don't believe everything is out there written about absolutely everything. And this is just one of the videos that is going to go a little bit deeper than what your usual manual would suggest you for a psychopathy. By my simply suggesting you something else, know that that's how they're going to literally through the torture, they're going to obtain the proof about my being a schizophrenic. If it, the torture goes long enough, and there must be then that a brain is going to shape itself into the same shape as to those that people who suffer from that kind of disease. I don't know. Some people even disagree that uh, disagree with this type of disease, but okay, suffer from. I am going to go back to, so that was the conversation, a productive conversation between me and between the British royals, to the issue of the psychopathy. Psychopathy. Yeah, I like this. Psychopathy. Psychopath. You know, I'm not referring to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch as a psychopath because of what is here. Now, you, if I would, I would be terribly, terribly wrong basically doing this to myself or completely give you totally wrong picture about psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was a leader of the team, of the special team. Mami Casiuredo, he was a leader of a special kind of team. He was a leader of exactly the same type of schizophrenic environment he depended on as to the one Vladimir Putin still does. Did you understand my sentence right now? I stated he depended, he depended entirely on the schizophrenic environment as to the one Vladimir Putin still depends on. And earlier I mentioned that the two issues, such as teamwork, teamwork, team, teamwork. Earlier I mentioned to you Putin, Lavrov, Medvedev, Shoigu. These are always the people that were a team, members, a team, players. A team player, a team member, it was something that literally exploded. If you witnessed, if you witnessed, uh, how would I refer to this as, Ha, jargon. Yeah, I'm trying to get this into English. Uh, if you witnessed uh, the new things that come out, right? Also, language wise, and how people, uh, you know, society, what society should pay to, they do that stuff, you know, they always come with the new terminology terms, or they made all terms look interesting at a certain time, certain point of whatever economic graph, whatever the issue might be, circumstances the government needs, something in a certain direction, there are certain issues coming uh, that they would be using everything, absolutely, including linguists, all type of issues to awaken people, certain concerns so they could progress or even pass whatever bill whatever whatever might be yeah this is basically how the governments work everywhere around the world let's just set that aside right now um maybe i have to slow down 
Uh, I did clarify a few issues that are going to play a major role in this video, in this, in this testimony. And so what I want to do is I want to go back to this issue, the psychopath. Um, psychopath, <laughs> based on what you see right there, is actually Einstein would say somebody, and that right now psychiatrist Peter Kapsch hates me because with the police, they repeated and repeated and repeated that to me uh, over and over and over and over again about... They reiterated how I am wrong about everything. Yeah. Is somebody from the proper perspective to just cross all that stuff? It's basically somebody that repeats the same mistake. That's what I would equal as lack of empathy, emotional responses over and over again and expects a different outcome. If I would say this for psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, it would be it would be catastrophe because that's exactly what did not apply to him. Oh, I uh, earlier talked to you about the evaluation. Let's just call this psychoanalysis. So let's just say what I'm doing right now is investigative psychoanalysis of psychiatrist Peter Kopp and his team. Team. My God, how much I hated this word team uh, and what Americans that would enter this home barricaded by the police where the torture went on next to other locations around the world, but this was like a center. How much the fuck I hated the word team. Team player when they were congratulating him. Can you imagine? Can you imagine you're being tortured inside of your home? Just try to imagine, please. Because I'm asking you to imagine this. Earlier I stated that psychiatrist Peter Kops is not a typical psychopath. He's not a typical psychopath and he was not developing for teamwork a typical psychopathy. If he would be developing a typical psychopathy, we wouldn't have any case here. It wouldn't work in absolutely any way. He's a very, very atypical psychopath. Maniac. Very, very, very atypical psychopath. With a very, very issues that run deep and have required the from teamwork, from the team members, to literally at times even subject themselves to MK Ultra practice so that they could feel the degree of pain that will be done unto me. So this is not a typical psychopath. And try to imagine, just I give you an example why you should imagine. So we're just trying to relate to you how difficult, how important is actually for you to consider. Imagine, if I say to you, try to imagine that you would have inside of the home that would be barricaded your house with the people that would be out there to literally get you killed. The job that Duma, that Vladimir Putin, Serbia, Belgrade assigned to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, referred to the Milan Kurchan, was also very, very, very typical. It was not a typical job. It was meant to become a systematic murder. You can kill a person immediately. You can kill a person over a certain period of time, course of time. Uh, you can get one killed through the course of time. You can... There was a lot of issues involved in it. I found myself in the hands of FBI in Miami as early as in 1995, even 1996, gesturing me, uh, 97, 
Jeffrey and me uh, on how to use knives and or if I would be interested in going to the airport and detonate bomb, they, they could provide me with uh, and even train me. And on which opportunity I told them I am going to be at the airport at my earliest opportunity. I already told my ex-wife, farewell. We'll meet each other in some other time in another world. And I was already with packed luggage, ready to go to the airport, sit on a fucking plane and disappear from the United States of America because it started to get too hot in Miami. Miami is hot, but that kind of temperature I couldn't handle. I couldn't lower myself to what became obviously a training for somebody that would serve Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigations, as a potential suicider uh, that, will, that would eventually detonate itself or get somebody hurt with a knife and that kind of stuff. So I told him, and it was, I think his name is Morris from Southern Poverty Law Center. Or maybe it's Morrison, I don't know. Maury, Morris Dees was involved in it, yes? I told him, listen, my friend, uh, Either you're gonna stop, or we're never gonna, we won't see each other for too long anymore. It's now either, either. And he decided would stop, talk to the FBI people and so on, that they would stop the operation. That they did realize, in fact, that I am not exactly the material that would serve the purposes of mentally ill people. I want to go back. This is a bit heavy video, and I asked you to imagine being barricaded inside of your own house, house, where you would have a psychiatrist literally giving you all sorts of instructions for you to see the world in a most negative, in a most disgusting possible, completely counterproductive way for you, with using your family members to torture you physically, psychologically, and use them to example you uh, on why you should be, in fact, killed. If you can do all stuff like this with your family member, it can be done with your family members, then you can imagine what kind of Slovenian police officers exactly investigators what type of Slovenian investigators exactly what type of people were involved in this stuff some of which even the neighbor here not too far these were the people who they dreamed about having the ability to kill me at any time the profile of the police officers equal to what is British royal somehow very fair to them are serial killers and I cannot but agree with that kind of stuff the person who commits a series of murders often with no apparent motive and the following characteristic predictable behavior or pattern well, out of my case, these people have committed probably, if I say, at least 10,000 felonies, I am not wrong about it. That's just on my case. These people, they dreamed, they lived, they breathed, they walked, as Nurse Yanko stated, alone admitted no longer had even capacity to follow their work assignments because of a super 
schizophrenic environment psychiatrist Peter Kapp depended on. In this schizophrenic environment, this individual was using to incite people into violence, psychological and physical violence, was completely limitless. Uh, I'm not going to say unethical because, you know, come on, the stuff that I have spoken to you about and you, you just, there is just ocean of things I did not even spoke to you about what went on inside of this home, what went on with this guy. It clearly are pointing in, in, in a direction that, that, uh, Undeniably, a presence of the psychopathy mixtured with, uh, earlier I suggested you, a killer instinct issue, if you remember from Sharon Stone. Uh, the motives were predictable. Uh, they became predictable over the course of time. They would not give any kind of answers to those except at the beginning when they were making the points about their issues literally through the violence and through what, what were completely evident lies. There was no, 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 no proofs basically for their violence, for their actions, even if they would have the right to act that way. It did not, it did not exist. It was, it was just a product of Something that needed to be simply needed to be seen as such, even that did not exist anywhere. And I don't know how, if not on a person that is being tortured, sub subjected to the severe physical torture, bullying, harassment, hey, 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 in Slovenia, from one house to the other, must be every fucking home in Slovenia. They had me visit. Having people curse me, yell at me, uh, death threaten me, you know, uh, how can it possibly be more environment hostile and unreal? in a sense of condemning one to something, if not the environment that I described you. There was no grounds, there was no reason whatsoever, anything did not exist anywhere, no violations on my part, anything that I would commit anywhere, any offenses whatsoever, that would suggest that any of this type of behavior, torture, not mistreatment and behavior, but torture was either necessary or rationalized, apologized. It was just the police investigators that would just simply pick any kind of issue, whatever issue would be at hand. Talking about the schizophrenic environment and would use the issue to, let's say, in front of the mother, if there was something that it wasn't done. Uh, I refuse, let's say, to do at home, would use to literally engage, engage into the physical violence, you know, making this way point in front of the mother, demonstrating basically how helpless I am, and father, uh, and etc., 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 etc. This, of course, did not start in 1993, in 1993, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was indefinitely selected by Slovenian parliament as the one who would deliver, bring this whole thing to the end. He was authorized, he was titled and entitled, became completely, got a title of this case from Slovenian government that will handle this. For a better or a worse, it soon became clear to me that those that really sided with me were of the picture and the whole thing was in the hands of the service. 
Russians, I should say, who believe they're going to run this case uh, literally at the expense of others, or I should say at the expense of others' uh, sovereignty, uh, who would be eventually paid for it all. And those that liked me, that were on my side, whether they liked it or not, they had to let it go this way because they have no fucking control over it. The whole thing could be taken away from them. Uh, it was profitable. And on top of that, since they couldn't do anything about it, they also couldn't help me if they possibly could. So they told me just go from all directions, from all the sides, and collaborate with the Russians, with the Serbs, as long as you survive. Just fucking do whatever you're going to do. Just do it. I refuse to do this. I refuse to turn myself into anything like that. And have taken the whole thing to a new level. Or a question here appears. Yeah, you either have to take this to the next level. Because I don't know what the fuck the next level was. I have a problem with seeing myself on the next level. Since... I always was on the same level. Uh, Russians and Serbs had to lie to get the things going. Uh, there was no, they did not allow Serbian women or Russian women to come anywhere near me. And it soon it became clear, not only to me, but also to the Russians, that it was this politic uh, that were just twisting the whole story in its own direction. Too damn bad that uh, there was people that I'm not going to even say they could make a difference in a politics like this, uh, but those who could from the West deliberately have refused because the the, the case itself was too uh, too profitable for them. It was it was just it was just too profitable to to negotiate business, to espionage everywhere around the world with literally with a, with the full support of the Russia behind. Uh, and that meant that they got on board also China and India, uh, Brazil. It was it was just a fucking profitable. I was I was just a, a magic tool that could be used at any time anywhere in the world. And there were big things really 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 endless awards that they uh, they got things settled done that they couldn't in their in their fucking slightest dreams it became easy to settle things around the world with me now i want to concern myself with these issues more serial killer psychopath etc just yesterday I took my mom to father and uh, she had me wait at a postal office inside of the car. And uh, I found myself here in this place here. No, uh, when it comes to psychiatrist Peter Klopp, uh, I couldn't stand one. I couldn't see one, really. We always were enemies. Uh, yeah, but he got from Slovenian parliament mutually. Uh, a complete support for solving what they refer to as solving this case. Yeah. Um, just yesterday, I was right here at this. You know, where, where am I now? Oh, it's going to be uh, but that's an interesting one like this you know, pop ourselves here eh, not quite here but here I was parked here uh, when it comes to, as I earlier suggested, 93 psychiatrist 
Peter Kapsch was all over this place here. But here, he eventually managed to recall again. It again appeared Nurse Yanko. Nurse Yanko was like a demon. He didn't leave in the normal mist at the time and would only appear here and there. Once he would move to the normal mist, then it would become his permanent station. Talking about MK Ultra torture. And when he would appear, he would appear like a demon, and he would only do something really bad or something, and would again disappear from the picture. And the next time when he would appear, he would ask me if I remember him and what I did to him, and he would talk to me again, what I think, this and that, then he would do again something bad and again disappear from picture. This, however, is not a story about Yanko only. About, this is a story about the team, teamwork. I was parked right here, this spot here, and the memories ran through me about this place here because they would meet here a lot, a lot, a lot. Here, I recall the memories on psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshel. I remember the memories about this girl, this one here, oh, how she got hot and promised me all kinds of stuff here sometimes like in it was like even 1997 and today i'm gonna talk about her quite a little bit i wanna talk to her about there is some faces out there that i have already devoted myself to It was all about the Serbia. Tatiana, uh, whom I have liked. I liked her. Demanded from me complete compliance with the Belgrade, with the Yugo politic. It was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who jumped me. Uh, a lot of violence already was involved in it. Demanding from me that death threats that I will never get this case through unless I'm going to submit myself to the Velika Serbia, Belgrade, to the Moscow. I'm a dead man and so on. And one day it was, boy, this girl also that stressed me on this location here, some really juicy stuff that I didn't know what the fuck to do with it. I wished only that she was a boy, but she was not. And so I couldn't tell her the rest of the story. I just had to listen. Basically, the way I took the MK Ultra was in one ear in, the other one out. And in between, it was just fuck you, basically. That's all. Not a nice day, not a bad day, whatever it is, but exactly two words. I didn't have time, basically, for these losers to lose here. I was young. And I was eager to make money in America already, I was. I wanted a career in the law enforcement, and I didn't have a time to fuck with these people here. After all, I didn't go to America to listen to this. <laughs> and when I say to listen to this, folks, oh, God, they made the same fucking car, same chassis for 30 years. They never created a single engine in the history of the Soviet Union or Yugoslavia. Everything was a copy. And with machines, with assistance of the West, they would assemble the stuff in Yugoslavia and in Soviet Union, etc., etc., etc. The way I looked at these people talking to me was like, it's like, does it even matter? Do I even make sense if I start to discuss this issue? I think I explained very well. 
I wasn't interested in any of that stuff. I had my plans going on, but these plans did not go along because it was jammed on every step of the way from what became employer to employer, torture at work, not even harassment, the life impossible began to develop. Night replaced the day. For the day, I no longer knew what it was. And I still refuse to. Till this case is finished. Because if I would respond like a normal person. To altercations, to harassment. Within my family alone. I would soon find myself behind bars. I would find myself truly listed based on crimes at some psychiatric clinic or something like that. It's just better for me to comply with a role of some mentally ill individual you see on a Hollywood movie that they present one as a personality that never goes out that is antisocial, that doesn't come out, you don't see him around, he's inside. You know what I mean? It's safer this way. Simply, it's safer this way. Till this case is finished. So I don't know about Nelson Mandela, how it was in his life. It must have been miserable. I don't know others that were repressed. But I never heard for such a repression. I never heard for anything like this, that one would, to keep alive, literally have to act like a mentally ill person, so that eventually could stay alive. This is about the killer instinct. This is about the man who loves to discuss about nothing more than issue of schizophrenia. He is also very much interested in talking to people about giving people a health advice, food advice, and other issues. Giving a very normal advice to people. Insisting to people the importance of having normal life. Yet in the shadow of it all, I am a prisoner of his madness, violence, lunacy, psychopathy. Mania. He did become obsessed with the idea to get me killed indefinitely from people whom he teamed up with. I'm not going to say befriended, but he became to them almost like a father. He became to them like friend, somebody that would suggest them based on human butcheries even. To make the whole thing more interesting, I don't know, was it to make the whole thing more interesting next to causing damage? Was it next to, I don't know what the issue, I would, I would approximate one more. Because today this is about the teamwork. It's about the teamwork in its evaluation of what many would refer to is, and you probably even got an idea that, in a way, I've seen one as mentally ill. He is mentally ill. He is extremely, extremely mentally ill in his own world. After all, he does not recognize me as a human being. He recognizes me, and he saw me like a worm, like an ant. You step on, and he's dead, he's gone. Almost for 40 years. Almost for 45 years. 45 years. That's a whole lot of time. He met me when I was a child. Started to participate in it. And he learned from the teachers on how it's done. On how to do. How to murder. 
what his rights as far as ability to abuse, to torture, not abuse, are. Just yesterday, a group of disabled children walked here, and they were not children, they were already adults, and they, they were on their way to Shmihel. They would go walk, uh, obviously it would take them to exercise, and it was not isolated. When I told you earlier about 95, 96, it was psychiatrist Peter Kapsch who would literally had me, literally would involve me into the physical fights with disabled children. Therefore, would have me drugged up and would involve me into the physical fights with disabled children that would suffer from Down syndrome, from all kinds of difficulties based on whatever factors might be out there. Born uh, issues, you understand? And those are the people that did have a strange look. Some of them suffer from all kinds of different issues. And he was using them. Is this, some of those kids are actually violent. Who knows what goes on, not only in their home surroundings, but at this home for a children with a special needs. Literally used them for a physical rivalry between me, who was dropped up under MP Ultra, and children who were disabled. So then you tell me what kind of personality, what kind of person this is, what is, what is this individual like, what, where is he, I mean, if everything is wrong with me. Where the fuck is this guy on a picture? Where, where is this guy? Where this guy fits at, like on a picture, like for a human being? Like, where are his limits? I mean, those are disabled children. I never mind if you don't care about disabled children, doesn't matter. It was a lot of children he made disabled. It was a lot of parents he made insane. I still want to go back to this place. I like this place here. This is the place that opened my eyes yesterday in a very different, you know, it's always a matter of what you can afford. It's never was, in my case, never was a matter about whether I remember or not. The question in my case was, what was I allowed to recall? What was I allowed to to recall, not to remember, but what what right did I have to recall? I told you, responding to these issues as a normal person, and you're dead. Within hours. Teamwork, when Americans would come, and they would accent me, that they completely agree with him. In fact, they even see themselves in him. Americans I would count on, see myself in as a allies, as friends, as my supporters. Too many to count. And started to see themselves in something like this, whom they have accented he is uh, a good team leader, that he's got a leadership skills, and it's about the teamwork. Back in the U.S., everything was about the teamwork. It was a teamwork more than anywhere at Target, which was the first company in the United States of America that involved itself in a torture, in MKL torture, same team of people from Miami I would meet in 96 in Miami. I would end up meeting in Minnesota when I moved back to the United States from Slovenia again in 2009. Can you imagine this? And that's a nice little span, isn't it? That's like, like 14 years of time span in between. Imagine you meet the same people you met in Miami. All of a sudden, you meet them at Minnetonka uh, in Minnesota, the same people. 
those are all members of what is known is um, in America is um, it's not gonna come to me it's like labor ah, it's not gonna come to me right now okay seeing themselves in a teamwork are you a good team player uh, we do teamwork teamwork what is the best was the question at every job and this shit intermingled with visitations CIA abductions hijacking FBI hijacking from United States of America back home into barricaded house where you have a team of people working hard to drive you insane to drive you nuts eventually to get killed for ASAP, poisoning you, developing you coronary problems, kidney, liver, gallbladder, playing with the teeth, breaking teeth. Obviously, doing their best to create through the physical torture, literally mentally ill person, person that would correspond. To what would become in the future actions once I would return through and mail deliveries and assaults and all kinds of issues I would meet on the street deal with neighbors etc which they became involved in it entire city entire little country the country behind and so on If something like this was done, and that's why I asked you earlier, I don't know how you would correspond in an environment that where you would be introduced in some other country when they would be talking to you in an, another language, accenting you the issues that are being used at home, back home where you are hijacked, to absolutely drive you insane. So, I don't have a capacity to classify this individual as a psychopath, a typical psychopath. He is a very atypical psychopath who, if I go back to this location here, and this, as I stated, I was waiting for my mom. Not too far from here is a postal office. In a little bit, I'm going to do also a review of the items which... Oh, yes, I don't know if that's possible, but that's probably not possible. Uh, 35 minutes, really? That's not possible. Um, oh, we're going to see about that stuff. The police investigators who became involved definitely in 1993 together with this individual some in 1994 Yanko finally got himself something the year might have been 96 I could have been 95 but okay let's say 96 so he claimed he would be moving to the Novo Mesto will become his permanent they had a problem how to deal with it and I'm back to this girl here psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshel yeah she had a problem with this too she had a big problem she had a huge problem with it. The police investigators knew what they were doing. Because it's a profession, it didn't take them much to realize to have their superiors explain them what this type of crime was into where this type of crime classified as in what category 
this would go. But it was this girl that eventually I managed to learn a lot from because she was in a sense related to the what I'm talking about right now innocent in a way that she did not know from the beginning what she was up to this is our house here I'm gonna demonstrate you in a distance you're gonna see Ah, you can see it right here hiding behind these trees and then you go over the hill and it's a beautiful stream out there that goes and uh, does a curves back and forth it's really beautiful and I find myself here walking with the uh, Serbs with all kinds of politicians that would come here some from Israel from United States and they would do hiking they would go around they would see the land around here and uh, all of a sudden I uh, found myself walking with her over the hills here to this uh, locations they had next to stream it's called Grabenski Potok And uh, listening to her, what clearly appealed to me was a stupid shit, nonsense, uh, something that was just coming out of her head. And it felt like I would listen like six years old or something like that, uh, suggesting me all kinds of issues about how to view things is that had really nothing to do with me um, and uh, it's a stuff that involved uh, but basically crazy stuff stuff that that uh, it became clear it became evident that between the two of us never ever nothing is going to develop um it's one thing i haven't missed on uh, tatiana wanted me to acknowledge this stuff you know that's why this is a quite interesting bird. She wanted me to acknowledge this stuff by after like doing this shit to me if I would see myself in one what, sh what they told her that with the time and they also repeated to me with the time you will see yourself in it in a world of complete schizophrenic bullshit that didn't make any sense death threats and all kinds of stuff like that on how to view absolutely everything twisted stories all kinds of stories that didn't make any fucking sense rather the stuff that uh, I uh, started to contemplate and think about what kind of health impact does the stuff like this has on uh on uh, a people that that come there there are coming up with all sorts of versions all sorts of stories all stuff that a normal mind would never come to conclusions obviously stuff that is just if you would think that way, it would be definitely it would be mentally ill. Nothing that went on under MK Ultra was in a category of sane. Everything that they came up with, with every person involved in it, it was just totally twisted out of wine. Uh, did not make any fucking sense. And I assume that with 
amount of garbage they stressed in my head uh, through the course of time, period, that this lasted, they came to the conclusion that with uh, so much bullshit, a reality in one can be substituted and maybe brain would really, I don't know, respond differently or, you know, once you would start to see the picture completely different, uh, then really we could probably really have that item that uh, British lawyers were dreaming about, causing me. You know, because once you would start to see things there, friend, then the whole picture probably would just turn around and everything will become crazy. This is basically the way I explained myself. However, I was interested in something else here when it comes to this psychoanalysis, now investigative psychoanalysis. I wanted to know the same question I was asking myself as to what Tatiana was asking herself. <laughs> Tatiana was worried back in a day when she was a kid, when she started with this. She was worried about like everyone else, she wanted to know if this type of stuff that she's going to be doing to me is going to leave her with some sort of mental problems. What that's going to do to her. How, what kind of person that she's, she will develop into. And the answer from psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, who pick up his learning, he got his, at least he was trying to look as much as dependent on Americans in that sense, suggested the answer to Tatiana is, and to others, no, there will be nothing wrong with you, the more, as long as you will know what is true from wrong, what is basically true from lies, nothing will be wrong with you, in fact, in fact, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch continued, the more you will do this, it was not only Kopsch, we also had this individual here, it's called Tsveto Gradishar, and it was other, uh, you could see Vesna Schwab over there, right below, you can see here right there, and a little earlier I have seen on a picture also was Tsveto Gradishar. There you go. So, Tatiana now can absolutely agree that my psychoanalysis about how she got herself on a picture uh, simply is immaculate as per the answer that I've given to the people that involved themselves in MKUltra. It's exactly what was given, and it's all based on my memory. To the people that approached to this case. So, nothing wrong as long as you know what is and what is not. And in fact, the more you do it, the more you become capable, etc., etc., etc. That's how she secured herself a scholarship in Ljubljana, uh, went to university, etc., etc., etc. Uh, probably also a place to stay for less and probably some uh, also stipendium or something like that, etc., etc. Um, a strange cookie, this Tatiana, a strange cookie. Uh, at least I am certain that in a way back in the day, and I don't know why, because I wasn't really a pleasant person, but I have to say, it felt like she was trying to sort of help me because she suggested, she asked the question in front of me. She said, she pulled me on the side and she said, no, but I'm going to ask the question in front of you. But she didn't say nothing why or whatever. And this is basically how she operated in her way. Well, I have to be honest with absolutely everything. So... Tatiana 
found herself in in the world which she embraced with absolutely everything she had her mentor became personally a frequent and a regular visitor to our home his name is Zoran Muja now retired have already moved to Belgrade psychiatrist who got me in his hands in 2000 and, uh, 2013 and 2015 at the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje now he's already back in Belgrade or whatever the case might be this was her teacher her tutor maybe in a way she felt even her father she had a tremendous respect for this older generation of people from Yugoslavia and uh, she is half Serb so can't blame her for any of it she was doing her career her life uh, she was young luckily ambitious professional as you could be uh, but she did not treat me very well when I came to her uh, in her hands or whatever she had in her mind uh, that was just uh, even a bit desperate to get me in trouble when I once I started to feed her visitations labeled as paranoid schizophrenic as to what they did to me beginning the 2013 after 41 years of torture brutal I'm not going to change the page yet because I opened a very very important issue here we are now discussing finally the element of mk ultra we are now discussing finally i made it to the chapter which i would title as element that makes not only teamwork uh mk ultra team possible to operate there are different mk ultra teams whatever but this was a very very specific team uh obviously the environment the elements the atmosphere is schizophrenic because it's all made out of lies it's all made out of fake element that is introduced into a victim is sub reality of which main work doesn't stop it uh, with MK ultra sessions alone but its idea is to bring about the subconscious element on the surface and what other way better easier than through the home surroundings basically through the family members it's not enough to create uh, a paranoid schizophrenic element in a person is subconscious which in my case did not exist even a little bit the biggest horror the biggest problem to the psychiatrist the biggest disappointment pain and suffering so that you know that i you <clears throat> was inability to make me fall for absolutely anything when it comes to suggested me that there would be if i leave this here poison tomorrow here suggested me that for all kinds of issues 
if I would leave something somewhere that is going to be broken the next day, if you would tell me during MK Ultra, it didn't fucking matter when the next day came. If you broke that stuff, which they did destroy a lot of stuff, whatever they were doing, mattered to me not. Because one look at it, whatever went on, and this was like a very, very desperate way to drive me insane, nuts. Destroying the watches, police told me, was extremely effective way to get many people killed, in fact. I knew what the fuck I was doing, and acting as mentally ill allowed me basically to just drag on and drag on and drag on The degree that British royals would tell me, you are fucking driving us insane. And we know what you are up to. Because I would not follow, this is very not nice, this picture. I need to find another picture for which I was told uh, they would example me with that stuff, claiming me that, uh, you know, that I am just like a, like a, like a plane that is on the sky, which is circling and circling and circling and circling and circling with driving absolutely everyone insane, being dizzy already, uh, and this is this is a, a, a photo, one photo they told me that how I should see myself in is uh, basically Queen uh, looking straight at the at the photo. It's something like this here, while everybody else is looking up there in the sky, that I should uh, visualize myself as a plane that is circling the sky and circling the sky and is just untroubled and is just circling the sky. It was sky. a moment 70 years in the making. King Charles III, alongside Queen Camilla, officially crowned at Westminster no, Abbey, gonna get a ceremony full of pomp and pageantry not seen since his mother's coronation in 1953. Stop this. My ex-girlfriend would say, stop this. Um, they suggested me that it is a picture like this with the Queen Elizabeth looking straight and everyone else is rather looking up and sort of scared, whatever the issue they might have at the time. One time something went wrong or whatever. But it was a Queen Elizabeth that looked straight like an eagle, and she said, so that you know that I know what you're doing. Uh, Maybe this was even a little bit humorous, and this is not a proper thing. The thing is that the longer that I stretched this issue, the more people got involved in it. I didn't really have a choice. I would hit earlier. I really didn't have a choice. I couldn't do absolutely anything about it. I struggled to the last, filing finally for the political asylums, no longer just looking for the job, through Northern America, Western and even Eastern Europe, all the way to the Belarus, I made it, through Ukraine and Hungary in 2017. And then it was all that with uh, uh, Slovakia and the Czech Republic and Poland in 2018, uh, beginning 2018, you know? 
So uh, when when absolutely everything falls apart, uh, in you know, then you have to allow this subconscious bullshit they integrate it in your head. Uh, the useful part, however, only the useful part, not the schizophrenic element. The useful part only, only the information that pertains to the people that were involved in it, who participated and have presented themselves, their families, uh, that would interact with MK Ultra, uh, cities, uh, therefore buildings, so that kind of stuff that I started to identify to, to finally obtain proof that this existence of this beast is as factual as I demanded already it was in 2010. I demanded it was in 2010, but the only response I got in 2010 was they were doing everything possible to get me killed. It didn't make any fucking sense to continue because either way you went, you would get killed. I was trying to resolve this politically, and that's exactly what they wanted. They found more people against me than for me during MK Ultra, and that's how they got me into Second Energy Hospital in 2013 based on complete lies. Something that absolutely nothing to do, but it was contrary to accusations against me. A proven case of violence against me by the neighbors and by my parents, to say my family, including the sister, niece, that demanded from mother and father to throw me into psychiatric hospital. This is obviously 2015. Obviously, this is 41 years after I was born. Obviously, in 2013, we are already talking about no less than 22 years of Slovenian independence. And my being, and actually, I don't know if I was in a worse shape than if I would be when it was Yugoslavia, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Basically, that stopped me. Whatever the hell I went, whatever the hell I did, and there was no way to escape to this death you watch right there in front of you that tried to be even funny, humorous. With a really picture that was more gloom, that was darker than the guy that you fucking see here in front of you. I had a lot of problems. And these people were actually even respected. It seems like the teamwork, and it didn't matter what kind of teamwork, was more respectful, and it was, because when the time came to get rid of me, these people really started to earn respect for the kind of deeds. Then my existence ever was, I was going to say. The issue I have not finished so we did determine what kind of element this is. This is an element of hostility, torture, that is supported by the real poisoning, by the real torture, physical torture, where you are actually buried, tied to the dead. Is the stuff already I have spoken about. What went on? What kind of physical degree of physical torture this individual here had police perform? who became completely obsessed. Mm. A bit insane, actually. Even rated as insane. With idea to get me destroyed. He absolutely wanted to control every breath I took during NPL processions. And no wonder I have found himself isolated by the people that otherwise were NPL staff members trying to assist him since he went too far with his requests and would finally rely only on a radical extremists, lunatics, such as my neighbor here, Andrei Ul, 
that's basically the team what he referred to as the team people like Yanko Andre Ull was part of the team my mom they claimed was part of the team father was part of the team police investigator were part of the team the team that had one assignment I already had discussed about that's basically to get me killed through what would if everything else would fail therefore amount of physical injuries they caused through the poisoning will become a psychiatric solution so you are watching right there the king the king of not very typical psychopaths serial killers with a very specific assignment to get it done the atmosphere dictated nothing good in this circle of these criminals the way he presented himself always was as a caring person always was given advice I was given advice to the people all the time about how they should think even to avoid certain foods in everything I would touch including spoon whatever I would eat at the table was always regarded as disapproval ridiculing wrong so fucking wrong that I can tell you that I suffer a post-traumatic disorder from the amount of disapprovals about absolutely everything I was doing during MK Ultra. That is actually it's ringing to me in my head when I go and I touch certain subject, uh, certain item or whatever, uh, and I go because 25% of the time they spend barricaded inside of this house. When you make this over until I don't know maybe 2018 it's horrifically a lot of time a lot many years that's so many years they knew for every plate they knew for every pence they know for every belt the size the pen the pencil they knew for every scratch not only on the watch but even on a, on a nylon band watch bands they absolutely counted absolutely everything every fucking item in every fucking item they used hundred in a hundred different scenarios portraying to me the reality is and continue to develop their own visions stories and my friends this is what they regarded me as a schizophrenia and this is what i declined because it didn't make any sense because i knew what mental illness is and had ability to discern between what they wanted to become a mental illness and of course pursue reality instead I am unsure in what category exactly I would put this guy due to so many characteristics of violence. A criminal character that is so criminal that police officers, investigators alone told me when it all started they were ashamed that they do have a problem with it uh they did not know how to go about it for about three months till the psychiatrist Peter Kapp continued and continued and continued to create all kinds of impressions about me and demanded from them just as to what he had done to
in a way to Tatiana. That's basically either you're going to work, either you're going to accept the challenge, you're going to perform your stuff, or go somewhere else, basically, in that sense. Either you're going to see yourself in it. It's actually Americans even convinced Slovenian side that it's good for the brain, that it does not affect brain in absolutely any way when you do the stuff like this to the person, to the human being. I understand there was a politician like this who claimed even that it makes person mentally stronger, more stable, as long as you know what you're doing. And for the rest of it, how you go about and you present yourself to the public as a police officer while you're actually on assignment such as this one here. These people suffered extremely serious bipolar disorders. Extremely serious bipolar disorders. These people were definitely polarized. And I knew so more than what I was with their bullshit. Their bullshit didn't come to me because I knew I was a victim. But I thought about how do they feel at work. They perform as a psychiatrist, as a medical professional, Therefore, what should be there, assisting public people, even as a police officers, when in reality, there was something completely different. I told you that you're not father, you're not son, you're not mother, you're not worker of any kind. You're not a doctor. You're not a president. You're not a king. You're not a queen. If you're a criminal. If you're a criminal, you only have a number. You don't even have first and last name. Because numbers are reserved. For those that serve sentences, prison sentences. So it was must for these people to see themselves as somebody who is solving society, uh, see themselves as a hero, see themselves as a goodwill, volunteers, honest, decent people. And it was a must, therefore, not to fall apart to see me as ultimate evil in this world. I don't have to conclude what it takes for you to be capable to operate as a police officer under this kind of circumstances. But it takes a whole lot of schizophrenia paranoia, bipolar disorder, extreme determination such as this, those of as serial killers, people with a killer instinct, so that you could actually somehow drive through the life. Police officers, psychiatrists, and in this case, I told you that they have subjected themselves to their own psychoanalysis. They wanted to test what it feels like, what it looks like. They became, they volunteered, they wanted, they went on, subjected themselves to MK Ultra. Young could did, police investigators did. They wanted to test, they wanted to know what I'm going to feel, how that's going to feel. It is more than just 
deficiency of emotional response is quite contrary to it. Lack of empathy, poor behavior controls. In fact, I, if I would acknowledge these people as such, I would do them a favor. They are not mentally ill. These people are just extremely dangerous, as dangerous as it gets. Members of society out at large with a psychiatric licenses as well as with police badges. I was fascinated with the way they interacted because they interacted extremely professionally. They uh, lied one another. And as you all know, if lie goes on for long enough, it becomes a reality. They pretended in front of one another to get people on board. They acted with one another to convince on every issue as it mattered to them. Also, my parents, in cooperation, in collaboration. And it's a question, what else these people have lied about? Or maybe that happened with for non-compliance. I am going to stop here. Because, yes, there is more to it. There is more to discuss. However, it implies to issues that uh, somewhat already I have discussed on the blog. All I wanted to do in this video is discuss issues such as, um, well, see how analysis of the people on how they have viewed themselves, what their roles were, who they worked for, how it all went. Just as in the case of the Ukraine, where you would see a Russian laying weapons out on the table. Uh, in the case of Ukraine, which was negotiated war between Russia and West, we don't know how that war is going to develop. I'm not going to say that the war not developed in the opposite direction. Uh, I'm always optimistic for one thing and hope that West will take appropriate steps to assist Ukraine. But if that's not going to happen, somehow, just as the mainstream media laid out the news, or I should say the way Putin negotiated with the West in respect to weapons, mainstream media, this is exactly the way MKUltra brainwash rained down on me. It truly was like in a military. It truly was like a part of a military operation psychiatrist Peter Tapps was given to coordinate, to run with his team here in Slovenia. Parallel, yes, to some war, as you see, war is taking place. War always was taking place. This is not a new, it, 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 it didn't begin in 2014. Hopefully one day Ukraine is going to disclose you how many killings and all kinds of stuff went on in Ukraine before 2014, before the Russians took Crimea, Donetsk. War always was. War always, war is today in Poland and in Czech Republic. 
and in Romania, and Bulgaria, and Moldova. I wouldn't talk about Slovenia, but I would about Croatia and Bosnia. You can see in Bosnian part and in the Serbian part of Bosnia, they're about to start new war. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. I don't. I think I have clarified quite a few issues. The police investigators admitted their attitude fits into the category of the serial killers. They admitted. Police investigators admitted. Their behavior is abnormal, not normal, criminal indeed, wrong, but required by the police director of Novo Mesto at the time by the Novo Mesto police is a strong trait and even a guarantee to remain as part of the police force. It's why they have settled for it. To the very last one. It took uh, Yanko about nine months to admit the same thing. Although I would not go for absolutely any of these issues, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch took about two years for me to acknowledge that also my mother father understand what they are really up to. So he was working systematically. Uh, however, I would bet in any one of them, the type of behavior is criminal and would not buy from any one of them, not even shit. I would turn my back to any one of them even for a second. My father knew where my room was. He didn't know how to get in when I was asleep. My mom did too. If my mom did come to the rescue, neighbor Donna would. They work like a team, with the neighbors included, with quite a few neighbors included. And there is really nothing else for me to say. It brings detailed memories, the visit to this place brings detailed memories about what went on over the course of the years, how they alone felt about the stuff they were doing. They alone had a problem with it. They alone knew that it was illegal, that it was criminal, and it literally fit into the category of killers, basically. They knew the nature of the crime itself was psychopathic. They were mad. I was absolutely guilty in their eyes for absolutely everything. They had to apologize their work. They had to apologize their service to society. So that much more I had to be guilty, that much more uh, they urged people to see in me evil.
I think that I couldn't explain better than what I did. Thanks for watching this video. I did the psychoanalysis on people involved based foremost on the profile of a local psychiatrist who took charge on behalf of Slovenian parliament beginning the 1993 Therefore, a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch.